Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 1st of December 2025, I hope you are doing well, keeping well, uh, having a ball. Um, uh, as greedy and corrupt politicians and their corporate pals uh, try to kill us all, uh, it's good to note that there are regular people around the world who are w very brave and willing to do their best to try to uh, slow down the rate of uh, destruction. Of course, in the UK, we have Just Stop Oil, the protesters there, you know, a lot of octogenarians, uh, you know, willing to risk prison and things like that to, uh, to protest and try to slow down the pace of destruction. And uh, in Australia, a, a, a protest group known as Rising Tide have been trying to their best to block coal ships from entering uh, Newcastle in Australia there, not Newcastle in the north of England, um, uh, with a blockade and uh, risking arrest. It's very dangerous, it's a dangerous act in itself, but of course risks arrest. And uh, 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 there have been 141 arrests since the protests began on Sunday. Uh, so, um, but you know, so I have to say thank you. We should all be saying thank you to these people across the world who are demonstrating and doing their best with direct action uh, because they understand just how terrible and dire the situation is. It really is terrible. And the people with money don't care. All they care about is their own greed. And, and if they kill us all, they just don't care about anything else. So it's up to regular people, and it, it is heartening to see that you know people are willing to make a stand. Um, uh, I don't know if we have a French Revolution coming up ahead, or a global f form of French Revolution. I have no idea, but people are taking a stand. So we have to thank all of those people for risking their own safety and stuff like that. I'm too old to be doing that, I would say. Although looking at those old people who are protesting, I, I'm, I'm not, am I really? Uh, anyway, I'll just make my little bits, my voice heard here on YouTube and uh, hope that helps some people at least to uh, do more, more than I can do here based in Thailand, which is kind of impossible to do anything. Uh, anyway, we've got two in that square there. This is the LA Times expert level puzzle. We've got nine blocking down here. That will give me a nine in those squares there and we will be missing... Six, seven, eight, and guess what? We've got six, seven, and eight in different rows. So, yabu. We've got nine going up to the top here, and a nine across there. That gives us nine in that square there. I think we have nine down here, nine across here. That puts nine into one of those two squares blocking up. And then we'll stretch our nine right the way across, right the way across, and give ourselves a nine here. Seven blocks this square, seven blocks this square, and this seven blocks that square. So in that column, there's our seven. And seven blocking across here and across there. And seven blocking up there will give us seven in that square. We haven't finished with digit seven yet. Here we go. Five blocks these two squares here. That will give us five up there. We'll have a look at these missing numbers here. And they comprise six and eight, I think. So eight blocking across there. There's the eight, and that will be a six. Uh, 
so this is this was six seven eight wasn't it so six and eight in this square block up here that will give us six and eight in that those squares there so the three blocking across there means that's a three and this is six and eight that has to be a four and this is a one obviously the one block up there uh, so we're looking for three four in those squares there and I don't really know much about those yet but we do have three blocking across there and there so that's something and missing from here now we have one four six just got that one down there I found a pair here. We've got two and six in that row. We've got two and six in that row. So we've got a pair of two and six in those squares. How does that help us? Okay, we've got two blocking this square and two blocking this square. Uh, I could just do it like this if you like. Look, two across there, two across there. That gives me the two there. And then we're going to have six in that square, aren't we? Six blocking down here, six across there. So six in one of these squares blocking. Ooh, I went off track there. But it doesn't matter because it's both of those columns that are blocked anyway with the sixes that go here and the six there. There's our six. Five blocking this square and this square. So in this column, here's our five. We are left with four and nine in those squares there, I think. Hear my neighbour ordering coffee. I wish I, I don't. Re I don't want to hear wig. I really don't want to <laughs> listen in. I just. It's just so loud. Uh, okay. What do we know about digit ones? Hmm. By the way, we don't have any completed digits yet, so I'd let you know that in case you're wondering. Oh, there we go. That one's been staring at me and I've not noticed it. We've got an eight in that square there. Uh, 
we've got a pair of seven and nine down here a pair of seven and nine blocking down here and a pair of seven and nine across there so we do have a pair of seven and nine in those squares how does that help us well let's see we've got one blocking across there so we've now got digit one one across here or one across there that's got to be our one there so I just said this is seven and nine okay now does that do anything uh, not yet back here for our seven and nine uh, what else do we know Not sure, really. Ah, there's a triple. 256 blocking across here. That puts 25 and 6 into those three squares there. Right, that's 25 and 6. So 6s are there and 2s and 5s go where they feel like. This is not 25 or 6. It must be 3, 4, 9. Oh, come on. All right, at least we'll get the 9s then. So 9 blocks across there, 9 across there, and 9 down here. That means that's a 9. How about the threes and the fours? So we got threes in those squares. Oh, we had something. This was seven, nine, wasn't it? Seven, yeah, seven. I've just remembered. I've forgotten all about that. Seven there. Okay. Right, now what do we know about the threes? We get a pair of threes there. Uh, I've forgotten what this is. This is two, six, five, right? And this is three. Oh, I've forgotten. Wait a minute. I've got to recheck this. My my, as I say, my memory is always so awful. I just forget things so quickly. Two, <laughs> five, and six. And this is four, nine, one, uh, two, uh, three, four, nine. Okay. <sighs> and so this is not. This has to be an eight. And in fact, eight blocks across there and down there and down there. I think we're going, we've done enough on this puzzle now to actually break the puzzle. I think we have. Not absolutely sure yet, but it just feels like we ought to have done enough. But there are no completed digits yet. So we still have that little thing to hurdle to get over first. Ah, there we are. Three across there, three down there. That gives us three in that square. Three up here, three down there. There is our three. Five blocking across here and there. That gives us five in that square. The last number over here is a four. The missing digit here is three. Um, five blocks down there gives me a five here that has to be a two seven blocks across there that means that's a seven and this is a six Six blocking across here, across there, down there. There's a six. Last number to place here is 
two. Right, definitely making good strides forward, I think. One more digit to place here. That is a five. We've also got fives blocking up here and up there. Not there. Up there, I should say. So that would be a five. Uh, five blocking across here and across there and up there should give us our... F yes, actually seven is already finished as well. So five and seven now are both finished. Right, missing digits here are... Not one, they are two and four. Actually, we've got a four blocking up there. There's our four, and this is our one. Four then blocking across there. That means that's the four, and that's the two. And here we're left with one and six. So with the one blocking across there, there's the one, there's the six. Six blocking back that way. There's our six. This is our eight. Eight blocking across here and up there gives us eight in that square. Five, six, seven, eight are all done. This is a two. That's also finished. The last number to place here is nine, I think. Okay. Uh, not much more to go now. What's missing from here? One and something. One blocking up here. There's the one. The something is nine. Nine blocking down here, down there. There's a nine. Uh, that's a four for that column. The last number to get here, three. So three blocking up there is our three. This will be a four. Four blocking up there, there's the four. Last number we need is one. Okay, that's our Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle over and done with for Monday. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day, however much of it there is left, which could be a little or a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.